So now let's take a moment to look at this remove from list. I don't think there's an easy way to get an object back out. We've added objects, but when we remove, we just get strings. So our SDK does not easily work with strings. So we have books SDK dot remove, actually dot delete book. And this takes a book object. You could create one that takes a string or you need to figure out how to convert the string from the list box to an object. So my easiest way of thinking of this was to create a list that's gonna keep track of all of our book objects as we're creating this list. So up here we're going to say books is an empty list. And when we add a book, we're just going to say books.append, pass in book, and then down here and remove, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to get that tuple, and we'll just call this book tuple. We can parse that tuple to get the index, which we can steal from the books list here. So we can say book is books dot pop, and then pass in book tuple index zero. So imagine the tuple is of the form zero, like something like this. Well, we wanna grab that element, so here's how we would do that. Then we can try to delete this book, so we can say books SDK dot delete book, pass it in, and this should return something. So delete book returns the number of rows, so we can put that in an if statement. If it was successful, then it should pass as true. And in that situation, then we can remove it from the list. So we would just say list box, dot delete, pass in the book tuple. All right, let's just run and make sure there's no exceptions. Put in a book here, add it, and then we remove it. All right, it seems to be working. The only logical thing now is to iterate through all of the data in the database and print all of the books in this list box here. So we can do that at the beginning here. We can just iterate through for book in books SDK dot get books list box dot insert. We can put it at the end and then we'll just put the book. We also need to put it in that books list we have. So books dot append pass in the book. So run this and you can see it automatically puts a book in here. That's because that book existed inside of our database already from a previous video. So now we can put some extra data in here, hit add book, close out of it, run it, and the data stays there. We can go in here and we can remove a book, close it, run it, and it stays removed. So now let me just address an area that might be confusing, and that is what exactly is this books list for? Well, the main reason I am using this is because the books SDK, the delete book requires a book object. But the problem is when we are removing from the list, we're only getting a string. So in order to use the SDK, we basically kept track of all of the book objects inside of this books list. That was probably, looking back at it now, kind of like a, a hacky way of fixing this problem. So a better solution would probably be to create another function inside of the SDK to delete a book by its title or by its ISBN or ID or something that doesn't require a book object. But it's working, so I'm just gonna stop. I'm not gonna touch it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful for something. I know it was a little complex, but I think it gets the job done. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna be reviewing everything we've talked about with TK Enter.